Luke 15 and 11 says, there was a certain man that had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. What this young man is basically doing is something that you and I are very much so guilty of. This young man comes to his father and asks for some stuff before his time. He asks his father, I don't want to wait till you die, daddy, to get my inheritance. I don't want to wait for you to be in the grave to get the insurance policy. I don't want for you to wait for you to be dead to get the house. Give me my stuff now. So a good father always provides and gives to a child even if the child lacks the wisdom and resources to hold on to the blessing. But he gave it to an unwise son. Because if you can ever remember your days of being ready and realize like this little boy did, I'm in a bad situation. I'm ready. But look at what this boy does. Unlike you and I, he says this, wait a minute. 17 says he came to himself. And he said, how many hired servants of my father's house have bread enough to spare? And I'm perishing with hunger. 18 says, I will arise and go to my father. And I will say to my father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee. And I am no worthy to be called thy son. And unlike most of our kin folks, this father did something different. He says now, my son who was in a bad situation. Right. Daddy does something that we need to learn how to do the folks. His daddy says, come here, son. I don't want to get you anything. He says, just come on home. And when you come on home, I got something for you. He said, we're not going to spend time. I wish I had a witness to notice how God will treat you. He said, I ain't going to bring up how many times you messed up. I ain't going to bring up how many times you slept around. I'm not going to bring up all the stuff you smoke. I'm not going to even talk about the raggedy state that you're in when you get here. He said, this is what a good father will do for a good son. He said, yeah, you got some issues, but because you're my child, he met him far distance off. He says, come on, son. I got some nice things I want to give to you. Go get my son the best thing you got down there. He don't need nothing raggedy. He need the best of the best. I serve a God that will look at you after you make the baby out of wedlock, after you mess up with the money, after you make the mistakes, and he will meet you and put you on the finest of things.